If you're like us, this has probably happened to you. There you are, sitting in your room, avoiding homework, scrolling through YouTube channels, wondering which video to watch next. Ooh, epic rap battles of history. Wait, wait! Charlie is so cool, like, has a new video. Click it! No, 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 no! I saw the paint drying one, we're watching that one. Paint drying? Yeah, trust me, just click it. Suddenly, in the midst of your procrastination, your parents say something like, Grace! Five more minutes than you and your math friends gotta do your homework! <laughs> She's always on that internet. Mm. I swear those videos are gonna oh, rot her. We don't have swipes this on. Okay, so now we only have time to watch one more video. Yeah, but which I mean, one? I to watch the basket. No, 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 no Charlie, Charlie, Harris and Ford one. He Charlie, angrily uh, points at stuff. Call. Relax! Integers are gonna help us decide which video to watch next. That's right. If you're a regular YouTube viewer like us, you've been using integers to make shrewd viewing decisions. Where are the integers? Well, underneath the play count, there's two numbers. There's the positive votes, then there's the negative votes on the other side. Those positive and negative votes are positive and negative integers. YouTube just didn't put the positive and negative signs next to the number. Yep, that's what integers are. Whole numbers, like 1, 2, or the 38,000 we saw. The negatives of whole numbers, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 20, which we saw earlier, and then there's 0. Integers are not fractions, decimals, or percents. So numbers like 1 6 or negative 200 percent or negative 1 thousandths don't qualify. Yes! Just makes things a lot easier, guys. You remember that one time when you went to the mall with your friend Shauna and you didn't have any money, so she lent you 50 bucks and you bought this really cute denim jacket? But, owing your friend 50 bucks, that's a negative number. One that I promise to pay back very shortly. Shauna? Now that we have talked about integers, let's see how we write them down on a number line. Positive numbers go to the right of zero. You can write them with or without the positive sign. They mean the same thing. Three is the same thing as positive three. Just don't call it plus three, because math teachers don't like it. It's an operation. Negative numbers go to the left of zero. And yes, that is a negative sign, not a minus sign. <laughs> Seeing integers on a number line helps us understand the value of one integer compared to another. As we move to the right on the number line, numbers increase in value. Mm, for instance, negative 5 has a greater value than negative 16. But if we move left on the number line, numbers decrease in value. After all, would you rather watch a video with 20 thumbs down or one with just two thumbs down? Are you talking about my paint drawing video? Maybe. Okay, now that we have talked about value, let's ask a question. Which integer has a greater value, negative five or four? First, we put negative five and four on a number line. We see that four is farther to the right than negative five. Let's also place a positive sign in front of the four. That's a nice trick as well. Still stuck? Think about two YouTube videos. One has negative five votes and one of them has four positive votes. Which one would you choose? Okay, so the answer is positive four has a greater value than negative five. Pac-Man loves positivity. Yes, he does. Okay, wanna play around with positive and negative numbers? Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down on our site. And if you leave some comments, positive or negative, they'll be very much appreciated. Oh yeah, and one other thing. The next time your parents say, Grace, are you watching those YouTube videos again? Just say. Relax, I'm working with integers! And then go back to watching Math Club. If you want to play around with integers, stick around for the quiz. I can't hear you! Uh -huh. Would you rather have no dollars in your pocket or owe someone 50 bucks? Actually, that depends on how cute the jacket is. Got a good. <laughs> that, that right hook. <laughs> <laughs>